Hello everyone. In this video, we are gonna make a mini Tesla coil. I ordered this Tesla coil kit from online. It basically comes with everything that we need for this project. At the end of this video, I will also provide you with the circuit diagram. So if you do not want to buy this kit, you can use that. So this is the main circuit board and you can see it has markings for all the components. These are all the components we need, resistors and values of all the components will be provided in the circuit diagram. We have the heatsink for the transistor, a switch, a mini incandescent lamp, We have an LED, a DC jack, the main transistor, you can check the number, We have the capacitor, we have few other components like the screw, the screw post, an extra LED and an extra capacitor. And I forgot to mention the main thing that's the copper coil. If you are winding this coil at home, make sure to give at least 300 turns. So let's start first by adding the heatsink to the circuit board. Like I mentioned earlier, everything is written on the circuit board. R stands for the resistor, S for the switch, T for the transistor, C for the capacitor and T1 for the coil. All the things are straightforward, we just need to solder the components on the place. So let's fast forward through the soldering process and we will take on from there. So after soldering the coil to the circuit board, you have to use super glue to hold the coil in its place. Now let's give this a quick clean with isopropyl alcohol and we will carry on the video from there. So the coil is ready to be tested but before that let's install this screw post. Also, before testing this coil, I will provide you with the circuit diagram. If you are making this coil at home, you just need to follow the circuit diagram. So, 
So for testing this coil, I am using this 7.2 volt 1 ampere adapter. As I can feel, the MOSFET is getting a little warm, but not too hot. So should be perfectly fine. So let's test this first with the incandescent lamp that was provided with the kit. You can see, as I move this lamp close to the coil, the high voltage produced by this coil ionizes the gas inside of this lamp which makes it to glow up. Now let's test this with a fluorescent lamp. As you can see, when I move this lamp close to the coil it also starts to glow up. This coil is pretty powerful. Now let's do an arc test. As you may see, it produces a tiny arc. This is because we supply this only with a voltage of 7.2 volts. If we increase the voltage to 12 volts, this should produce a decent spark. The size of the arc we get on 7.2 volts is about 1 mm. So guys that was it for this video. If you like the content please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks everyone and have a nice day.